So um, we are very delighted to have Algerian director with us, Sofia Jama, who's taking time to meet with me today uh, to have a small discussion about the film that you just saw, The Blessed, uh, which is, as we said, uh, is Sofia's first feature fiction. The film has uh, played at the Venice Film Festival some years ago and has since then tremendously toured. Uh, we're very happy to include the film as part of our Safar edition this year. And our program Safar this year is about generational encounters. And um, of course, Sophia, I would like to start with this with you. Your film is the encounter of two different generations, a generation that has went through the dark decade in Algeria and a generation that is trying to find a future after this dark decade in Algeria. How did you come up with a film about these two different generations? What was your main idea behind it? Roger, thank you, Rabia, to invite me again uh, um, and to, uh, to meet you again. And uh, thank you for giving us, me as a filmmaker, three years after the screening of my film, the opportunity to, 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 to be screened in, uh, in Great Britain and to the opportunity to be for the other film. Uh, so I, I, I wish that the audience will be uh, will be here to see also the, all, the whole film that you have uh, scheduled. So how it, the idea came, uh, in, I am belong to, I belong to this generation actually, to this generation who was a teenager during the, I grew up during the civil war. Um, let's call it like that because uh, first of all, th there is um, a problem regarding the, how we name this part of our, uh, of our story. Uh, some people are calling it like the black decay uh, or terrorism decay, blah, blah. And a rare, uh, uh, it's not very common to call it uh, the civil war. And it can be, it could be also ideological issue, you know. And when I was teenager, I didn't, I, I was not living in Algiers. I was not living in a place where it was very dangerous. Actually, I, I was. I grew up in Bejaya, which is uh, uh, in the eastern part of Algeria on the coast. Uh, and we have to admit, at that time, at the very beginning of the civil war, we were more or less protected. So I, uh, I was a teenager, and I was not aware about what happened in my country. But in 1997, when the massacre was going more important, and I, I was really, I started to be aware about what happened, and uh, I, and the civil war started to be very, very close to our town. Now we were not allowed to go to to a part of our. Uh, I cannot go to Algiers, for instance. I wanted because at that time I had my my degree, my baccalaureate, and my parents forbidden me to go to Algiers. And now, the, at that time, the civil war was very really, how to say, concrete, um, real for me. Real. And uh, and then I managed to get finally uh, the authorization of my parents to go to Algiers. It was on two thousand, so it uh, so it was nearly the end of the the black decay of the civil war. But still, people was um, really in, they have a deep impact. Uh, we can speak about trauma, about um, trauma and post-traumatic uh, feeling. And um, I started to talk with, uh, I noticed how people have, you know, some habits, some reflex that was not normal reflex, you know, uh, as you can imagine, uh, you know, when you are living in a town where you are, you, sh you, 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 you know, paranoid way of living, when you are seeing someone who forget, uh, I don't know, a sweet case, uh, you know this kind of uh, of feeling that you can yeah, that is very well now in each country that have a, uh, lived uh, the same situation. But the problem is in Algeria is that people refuse to talk about it. It was incredible how the government itself for, decided to because of a law uh, that we uh, that call. Uh, 
Rahma, uh, it was a way to, to organize the amnesia, uh, am, a big amnesia, a collective amnesia. And yet the feeling was very close because we witnessed that uh, each in a very different point of view, it, different, uh, this, this difference is what was because you are not you, uh, on the place that where you were living or the social um, class that you were belonged to. Uh, so everybody in Algeria had lived the, the civil war in that indirect way or in uh, on or not, but they have lived it, and so we have a strong feeling about that. Me and myself have a strong feeling about that. So I I, I decided that it, it times come to tell about what was our own way, uh, how we have lived uh, this civil war in without the historical. Um, with the you know historical issue, but how intimately had uh, and deeply how we lived this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was the first step to talk about it. It was a way to talk about it. And as uh, an Algerian and also as a film director, I decided that I am allowed, allowed and I have enough legitimacy as someone who lived this situation and want to tell about it can do it as a film too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I wanted then to ask you, because you were starting to talk about the film a bit, let's talk about the, the couple, uh, mm -hmm. Amal and Samir, uh, before we talk about uh, their children generation. Uh, who are Amal and Samir for you? What do they represent? Um, for me, uh, Amal and Samir represent this generation who were in, uh, who went on riot in 1988. You know, the first um, democratic revolution after the independence of Algeria. You know, that was a lot of, um, lot of um, how to say, uh, tentative uh, of uh, attempts. attempts of revolu uh, revolution against the system. But in 1988. They succeed more or less because uh, after, uh, we were like, you know, uh, USSR at that time, unique party, uh, unique TV, unique way of thinking. It was totalitarian way of, uh, it was a totalitarian country, you know. So uh, the, this generation was very important for me because they succeed to make, to, 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 make, to organize a real democratic issue in Algeria, the first multi-parties and the first media um, uh, come on, um, um, press, independent press in Arab world and even in Eastern Europe, you know, yeah. at that time in Europe, it was on to, uh, in the Eastern part of Europe was under the lead of US, the, uh, the USSR. So you can imagine even in, in Germany at that time and Algeria, it, there was like, um, a big feeling of democratic issue and it was in the Arab world and in the Maghreb and in Africa, it was a very important issue and I was very proud of it as uh, uh, later on, uh, you know, uh, and I wanted to give a kind of homage to this generation and they are also more or less my parents way of thinking that my parents way, um, my parents question also and the way that I have been confronted to my parents at that time even if if uh, Nadia Kassi and Sami Bouadjila is too young to get me but it I, I mix between my parents way of life and uh, this generation to whom I was uh, very you know that I have a strong feeling of I have a kind of, of affection to towards this generation even if it was very difficult to stand this generation, this generation because they they called us the, the generation that came later me, the uh, trilang and alphabet, um, an alphabet trilang, trilang, yeah, 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 because we were neither Arabic speaker or French speaker, and we, you know, in Algeria, uh, this the generation of Samir uh, and a man in the film, there were. They studied in French and in Arabic, and they have a kind. They can master the two language, but our generation, 
they decided, the government decided that we will be al umm al arabiya and we have to study only in Arabic, but they teach that we have no teachers at that time. So they came with teachers from Egypt, an Islamist issue, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we started to, st to study everything in Arabic. And it was very funny because I remember my teacher of uh, mathematics, he was there was a lot you he mixed he mixed between french and arabic and sometimes he was writing in the you know in the blackboard and everyone said oh okay no he was mixing everything it was very funny so well uh to everything to tell that that this regeneration was very important for me because also there are we inherit from, from the militantism from them okay i and have uh, had inherit the militantes from the previous generation too. But do you feel, Sofia, that you're, you're closer to this generation, the generation of Amal and Samir, or do you feel like you belong more to the generation of, uh, of Fahim, of Feriel, and of Rida? Who, uh, because we want to also discuss this new generation that uh, comes in the film as well. Um, how do you feel about, what's your connection to this new generation? I'm between the two, in fact, because uh, I am also close to Lina, Lina uh, and Fahim, uh, the uh, Feriel and Fah Fahim, uh, yeah, Fahim, uh, <laughs> I, I, because I mix between the name of the actors and uh, <laughs> And um, I, I am close to them because the, the, it's also the way of life that uh, I was living in Algiers at that time. By the way, the film is a kind of flashback because the film occurs in, 19, uh, in 2008. And the, the story takes part at this moment. And at this moment, I was a little younger than today. <laughs> um, and I want to tell about how I lived my uh, my my twenties in Algiers, uh, and so I feel uh, yeah I feel definitely close between the two generations. And by the way, I am in you know I am this kind of bridge between these two generation between the uh, Samir and Ahmed generations and uh, and Rida and Lin Afaria uh, generations. I am very in between because and. Uh, in, in a real way, because I am, uh, I have uh, more than ten years old with uh, Feriel, uh, with Lina Khudri, <laughs> and uh, and uh, 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 let's say ten and or uh, thirteen years with the Amel uh, generation. So really, it, it's it's a question of a decay. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, so I have, I can understand the issue bit, uh, and how importance uh, the, uh, the, the, the historical sequence to Amel and, uh, and Samir and the historical sequence to uh, the, the younger part of the film. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Sophia, we're, uh, we're screening your film also as a part of a double bill that we're doing for uh, the actor Sami Bouajila, who has just won this year the César for his yeah. work in the Tunisian film A Son in which he also gives a great performance. But in your film, he has a very central uh, part, of course, and he's such a tremendous actor, very versatile. Um, how was it for you to just be able to collaborate uh, with him? How did, uh, how did you know when you wrote your, uh, your script that you wanted him to, uh, to, to take the part uh, of Samir? Or how, how, did, how did the encounter happen? Sami Bourjila and Nadia Kassi was the casting that I wanted uh, at the very beginning of the writing, you know, uh, because um, you, you, I, I'm proud of it more or less because uh, Sami Bourjila and Fawzi Ben Saidi are not Algerian. Uh, uh, Sami Bourjila is, uh, is a French Tunisian actor. And uh, he knew very, very little about what happened. He knew about what happened in Algeria. But finally, I discovered that in France and even over the world, and sometimes closer to us, Tunisian people and Morocco knew that it was hard time for us, but uh, they didn't realize how it was hard, actually. And 
and I, I want to, 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 to work with Sami Bergila not only because he's not Algerian, because he, I, 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 um, first of all, it's a question of feeling. I felt that it, it, Samir is him because he looks like the Samir that I imagined. Um, he was, regarding the age issue, it was in the same age. And um, Sami Bergila looks like very fragile, more or less. And I was very impressed by his, his performance uh, on, on Tishine's film, but also on, uh, uh, on um, Omar Radet, um, uh, Omar Mathieu, from uh, Roche Dizem mm -hmm. uh, film. And he had a very, very impressive performance on this, this film. So it was an issue of actor. And I don't know, he looks like a cat, you know. He has something like a cat. He's here trying to seduce you, but also he can be very, you know, he had this anger, uh, um, angerness. Is it, uh, the anger? Anger. In, uh, 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 yeah, I like this. You know how to sell. Yeah, then, um, yeah, I cannot tell exactly why. But it's question of feeling. Uh, for me, it was him. So we, we work a lot. We discuss a lot. Uh, yeah, not only with him because I wanted to introduce you, him to the other actors from Algeria and organize some rehearsal in in France. Uh, uh, so I asked from from the production to make this possible in France and in Algeria to in the way that I want to make the actor knows each other before. So we organize, you know, like aperitif in Paris or dinner in Algeria to make and to talk a lot about Algeria. We talk a lot about Algeria, about our perception. And we I explain him that I'm not dealing with the historical issue. I mean, it's not a documentary about the civil war, but it's the feeling that we had at that time and I, I explained that imagine you are a couple it, because it's also a story of love about a couple who lived 20 years together but if we don't see the story about the historical issue about the uh, civil war it's a story about the intimate uh, life of a couple who we who are in a crisis who is living a crisis that every couple could live over the world mm -hmm. when you have to confront to the um, generation gap because the, the story is about a couple and the way that they the, they are thinking the uh, the future of their son that's it and it could happen in france in lebanon or in algeria or uh, in the country uh, no way i mean it, this this question is very hard to stand for a couple but if you add it to that the situation of the polit uh, the, the the country the policy uh, the political issue the thing could be more dramatical in a way yeah so it was the way that the that i tried to exp uh, the the discussion that i had with the with the uh, with sami brajila and uh, Nadia Kassi, for Nadia Kassi, it's more, it was more comfortable because she is Algerian and she lived in Algeria at that time, uh, even if it might, she was obliged to flee Algeria even mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. to survive. But it was very important to have this kind of discussion and Sami had understood. Uh, so the difficultness for, for Sami was the linguistic issue, but it was a good job finally. And I realized that he had understood and when he came in Algiers and started to leave the situation in Algeria, he started to, to have a second or a third uh, reading, you know. So I have to admit that it was very tense with him and, um, and maybe it was very difficult, but Finally, I think that we are very, very happy about the film mm -hmm. together. And I will ask you, uh, Sofia, a final question because you mentioned uh, Nadia Kassi and Sami Bajila, of course, but the, you also brought very uh, emerging talents. You brought actors who uh, didn't have prior experience. I, I wanted to, tell, to ask you very briefly if you can tell us how was it for this ensemble to work together actually between the older generation and the new generation in the film 
but also in as as an acting atmosphere yeah for me uh, for the adult issue uh, it was uh, for the adults it was they were bringing to their scripts you know dialogue mm -hmm. was written and i want them to work on the dialogues. Uh, uh, it was because I've would, I wanted to find like a rigidity of their way of thinking, you know, mm -hmm. it is ideological and they are talking about ideological issue. Why the, the so it was very hard for them and hard for me to, uh, but it was a way of directing. But for the young part, it was a different way to work. We, uh, we uh, during the rehearsal, we work on the, on the, um, on the text, on the dialogue the like that was written, but we talk a lot about the intention. Like we did it also for the adult because, but for the young part, I want them to um, uh, improvise. We say improvise. Yes, 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 improvise. improvise. And but for me, the improvisation should be very linked to or to the intention note uh, and the uh, the political issue that I wanted to put in. Uh, and uh, uh, so I asked them to see some documentaries. Of, I gave them some documentaries of Algeria, films, uh, even music. And it was the, the funny, the funny part was how I did I did the cast in Paris with uh, Juliette Denis. We we found uh, very fast uh, Lina Khodri. It was her first film too, and when we 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 were really definitely in love each other together. But she was in love with the script. I was in love with her way of acting. So we decided to find the right uh, trio. Uh, so I was calling each time Lina to the cast to cast the boy, and uh, finally we we find the right the the, the accurate and the right. Uh, the right uh, actors and uh, they became nearly friends uh, for the Algerian part it was very different issue because at least in France they are actors even if Lina it was for her first, first film even for Adam Bessa who is Tunisian too and for Amin, Amin is a Moroccan but they are actors uh, they, they, they went to school to study mm -hmm. but for the Algerian part for the young people uh, that was in, you know, this kind of cave, uh, we call it Nikki in Arabic, by the way. Uh, there were not actors. I, I, I knew, uh, I knew Brahim, you know, the, this, the leader of the cave. I knew him and I know him still, and he's not actors. And I asked him if he want to perform in my film. He said, oh, why not? And I asked him to do the cast because for me, to choose his own actors because he's not an actor and if i try, i want brahim and i try to work with uh, actors and or reorganize things maybe the thing or the the things will not work so mm -hmm. i asked him to come with boys that he knows that they can stand a camera and it the relationship had been already established between him and them so it was very natural and for them to give them the, the script, it was not impossible because they will not read it for sure. And I will, I, I, I'd prefer, I rather prefer to discuss with them. And it was the issue we discussed a lot. And then we, I, I asked him, I, I discussed with them with camera because I wanted also to know how they will deal with the camera and explain them. Well, today I am alone with the camera, but let's imagine during the shooting session, there will be so many people and even me uh, I, don't, I don't know so you have to imagine that this small place will be overcrowded how you will perform they said no problem <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fact that was not problem any problem but we work on it with uh, uh, for them i gave them small small dialogues very small that links to to that was very important for me for the editing, you know, to not lose the edit uh, session because I wanted to story move also to the action yeah, yeah, or the yeah. action issues. But I asked them to if they what well, it was possible to to improvise, and I, I explained why this scene, how much this scene is important, how how I wish to sh the, the the thing that. Uh, uh, the intuition, no, too. Yeah. And they have 
understand, uh, they have understood and they, the harasser was great, but the shooting was better. Mm -hmm. it, was, mm -hmm. uh, it was incredible. Wow. And to end on a high note, actually, it's, it's, uh, it shows in the film, actually, it shows that there is a complete energy between everyone on set, disregarding the generational gaps and disregarding if they're professional and non-professional actors. And this really shows that you did really such a marvelous work, Sophia. I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to have this conversation, which the audience uh, surely did enjoy, or we hope the audience enjoys. Um, I also know you're doing, you're preparing your second feature, so we want to also wish you all the luck with preparation for that, and hopefully we can screen it as well I hope in so. upcoming festivals. Thank you so much. Merci, thank you. Shukran. And, and until soon, bye-bye. Merci, bye-bye.